Hey everybody, Coach Tim Springer, Spartan Basketball. Uh, back with another car series, had a great meeting today that really pushed a lesson to my mind that I wanted to share with you. It's something that I've been thinking about a lot and I just felt like it, it's something that may help someone else. And, and, and so anyways, today I had a meeting and basically it's with an organization here in the city who does youth sports, all sports, for um, mostly 12 and under, but they're looking to expand into a more uh, skill-specific advanced training for after the they graduate that organization to their next chapter of what they're trying to develop. And they wanted to reach out to me and see how I wanted to be involved and what I could do to help them get this off the ground. And it was kind of interesting because when I look at it, nine out of 10 coaches or someone in my business, and, and that's the thing, business, would say, hey, that's creating direct competition. You should help them. You, should, you know, that's going to take food off your table, da da da, kids out of your program, whatever. But you know, I, I, yeah, okay, in a textbook way, yes, that's true. But at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I think more groups like what would I do or, or other people need to find ways to unify more often and find ways that you can serve more. You know, no different than iPads linked up with Verizon, you know, to serve more. Um, and, and, Maybe there's not direct competition. Well, I guess there is because it's a Verizon tablet. You know, there's competition there, but then you can work together and everybody can share the pie. And then that doesn't even necessarily mean so much money, but just what you're going to do or what you're trying to accomplish. You know, and I look at my goal of, well, I'm trying to reach a million basketball players. Okay, well, am I really going to do that by myself? No. I need to leverage my energy, leverage my time, and I'm, I'm going to have to collaborate and work with others. There's just no question about that. So, you know, with that being said, it's the same concept is, yes, you may be in competition in whatever you're doing, and, and you do need to find ways to be above and beyond your competition and win that battle, but it doesn't mean that you can't find ways to partner with the right ones, and I'm not saying everybody, but the right ones to also strengthen what you do or to help better serve your mission, and, you know, and not so much look at the bottom line, especially if that means money. That's unfortunate, but that's what happens a lot in the coaching business, and you know, I hate to say that, but it's true. You know, uh, it's it's easy to get caught up in, well, they're gonna take food off my plate, they're gonna take money away from me if I do this. You can't think like that. You just can't think like that. You've gotta be able to um, be open to sharing. We're going over a turn, you know how this goes. So, to make a long story short, we came to some realizations that we do want to work together, and it's going to be great when it happens. I mean, you're definitely going to hear about it. I'm not going to you know, get into details now since nothing's concrete just yet, and you know, I don't like to jump the gun, but it's going to be great. We're going to help more kids in San Antonio. We're going to have more players in San Antonio achieve dreams and build through the game of basketball than we would have if we had went our separate paths. So, that's the message for today. Find ways to unify and not always compete with those around you. Take care. God bless.